Today we've been asked to cover where a fire investigator can review the steps in the scientific method as they relate to the practice of fire investigation. And we're going to use NFPA Link to do it. Easy to use, digital access to NFPA codes and standards. Let's get started. First, we can click on view all publications and link. And in the search box, we can type search by title or number. We know that fire investigation is governed by NFPA 921. So we can type in 921 and hit enter. It's gonna search all of the NFPA publications that deal with 921 in the title. For a little background, following the scientific method during a fire investigation is generally accepted as the standard all investigators must follow. So as we can see, 921, Guide for Fire and Explosion Investigations, has been found in the search. Click on that. Can scroll down to the basic methodology. Click there. And as we can see on the left here, relating fire investigation to the scientific method is section 4.3. And clicking there, the first thing that pops up is relating fire investigation to the scientific method with a figure 4.3 that shows the steps in the scientific method. First, you recognize the need or identify the problem. Second, you define the problem. Then you collect data, analyze the data, develop a hypothesis, also known as inductive reasoning, test the hypothesis, known as deductive reasoning. This may involve some loops back up to collecting more data, analyzing the more data, developing a new hypothesis, and testing the hypothesis. Eventually, you select your final hypothesis. For more information about each one of these steps, you can scroll down to section 4.3.1 through 4.3.10 for different steps in the scientific method. We hope that that answered a lot of your questions about where you can find information about the use of the scientific method during fire investigation. Be sure to visit nfpa.org forward slash link and give link a try if you haven't already. As you just saw, link is truly a window to productivity.